Hi guys. I got a comment on my last video asking me to do a tutorial on how to make a one of the simplest uh, blend trees for Mechanim in Unity. So I'm just making this in response to that. Um, I'm just going to really quickly make a blend tree from scratch. The only thing I'm using is this this is a model that I rigged up a while ago and he's just got some animations on him. Um, they're from the Carnegie Mellon University animation library and I'll just be using these two. They're just two different walk cycles. This one's a lot more subtle but this walk cycle is a lot more pronounced and I'll be using the, the two of those to make a blend tree. The main use for a blend tree is when you have two animations and you want to be playing a little bit of one and a little bit of the other at the same time. And normally if you have a bunch of animations you'd be swapping between them like you'd swap from a walk cycle to an idle cycle or something like that. But this is if, yeah, again you want to be doing kind of two things at the same time. Anyway, I'll put my character on stage and it's it's worth noting that I've set him to have a humanoid rig which is what kind of turns on Mechanim. I'll just save this and this is just how he came in when I first first rigged him up as you can see everything's green which is pretty much all you need so anyway I'll get my character I think I'll attach the main character the main camera to the character so that when the character moves the camera will watch him and I'll just move it around a little bit Okay, anyway, to add animation to a character, we need to make a an animation controller. And to do that, we just go into the project assets and we create a new animator controller. And I won't change the name of that, I'll just leave it as new animator controller. And if we click on our character, we'll see there's a spot in the animator component where we can drag the animator controller on and that just tells tells Unity that that character will be using this animation controller and then onto the animation controller we can drag if we click the arrow so that we can see all the contents of the the file that has our animations we can just drag the animations onto the animator component We'll actually be doing something a bit different, but this will be good enough just to test it initially. And since this one's orange, that'll be the default. If I just hit play, then it'll play the walk small emote, the walk small animation. And then if I right click this and set that as the default, then it'll play the bigger walk animation. Now I'll actually delete both of these and what I want to do is I want to create a new state from new blend tree and I'll just leave that named blend tree and that'll be the default so I just double click on that to enter into it and I want to add two motions to it to do that that's up in the inspector I just add two motion fields and I select the two animations that I want and I can just test that we don't have anything that's actually changing between them we need to set up a parameter a parameter is what's used to define the difference between these two and we do that down here I'm just going to add a float and I'm going to call the float speed
and we can see when we select the blend tree that speed has been set as the parameter just because that's the first and only parameter there is and so it'll be using these numbers in the threshold to determine how much how far up up or down this the animation is going to play and to actually get that to work we're going to have to write a script I'll just do a really basic script I'll add a component uh, it's already written here but I'll I'll make a new script called player just a C sharp, C -sharp script actually I think I'll make a JavaScript one because I think the request was actually to do it in JavaScript. There isn't a whole lot of difference between JavaScript and C Sharp for this, so I'll just do it in JavaScript to fulfill the request. So once that's added, I'll just double click it so that it will then open up Mono Develop. And what I want to do is I want to have I want to access the animator and I'll just save a reference to it in the start so I just need to remember how to do it in JavaScript It's actually been a while since I've written in JavaScript. I've been writing in C-sharp for a while. I'll see if that raises any errors. It probably will. Oh no, it seems to be... It seems to be doing what I want. Maybe. So anyway, I'll just do a on-screen slider to toggle this. But the way to get information in and out of the animator is if we want to... If the animator, like if the parameter is a float, like when we add it, we choose whether it's a vector, a float, an int, or a bool. This one's a float. So if we want to access the float, then we do get float and then since we called it speed that's what we pass in here so that's how we get the speed and then we can just do a normal horizontal slider and that horizontal slider will set the speed to whatever we want it to be and then to put that back into the animator then it's similar to the way that we got it out it's just set float and also there's the equivalent for set ball and set vector and set integer so yeah, those are all the different ways to set all of the different types of parameters inside of the animator. So we'll just set the float speed to speed. And if I test that, then we have this slider at the top. And as we move that up and down, it changes which percentage of which animation is used. I'll just move the camera around so we can see it a little bit better. I'll also add a point light. I'll make it quite big. 
just so it's a little bit more interesting looking. And so here we have, it's kind of a little bit off center, but here we have the character with different levels of whether it's using the extreme kind of like over the top walk or whether it's using the more subtle quiet walk. And then there's a whole bunch of different levels in between. And so you could be you could use something like that to determine to show how heavy the character is or how much the character is carrying for example if the character had wasn't carrying much then he'd be walking fairly easily like that or then if he was wearing wearing a few, little bit more gear then he'd be walking like that it's a little bit more heavier and if he was fully overweight, then he'd be extremely exaggerated like that. Anyway, hopefully that answered the original request and hopefully it was also of use to somebody else. If anyone else has any other requests for videos you'd like me to make, feel free to leave a comment and make sure you subscribe, like, etc. It all, it all helps motivate me to make more videos for you guys. Thanks a lot.